This video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Take back your internet privacy and get three months free using the link below. Toad, I hate to break it to you, man, but I think we gotta start working out. All we do is sit around and play video games all day. Don't you think that's a bit unhealthy? Anyways, I got a new game off eBay from a very reliable seller, and he says it's like a workout game. You just gotta put it in and follow along. It's a me, your buff Luigi, here with another workout routine. You wanna know how I got these muscles? <laughs> By doing my famous jump jacks! All you gotta do is just play! And then you're well on your way to becoming buff! Just to follow along with the buttons below! It's so easy that even Mario can do it! And that's right, it's free! All you gotta do is download Super Luigi Jump Jacks and become my better you! Well, we were scammed! Uh. Luigi is the best bro that's ever been! Mario? Who's that? You mean Red Luigi? Cause Luigi's the only one with any kind of emotion over here! Mario just has that cold stare! He doesn't care! Does he even feel? Luigi, on the other hand, is over here feeling actual feelings of joy and even gets scared! Just look at this raw emotion that Luigi feels when he saves Mario! Wow, that really hits home! And then he goes back to sucking on ghosts! Luigi hasn't exactly been left out when it comes to video games! He's been a part of gaming since 1983 with the original Mario Brothers! I mean, it's a game about bros! It's right in the title! He's been in most of the mainline series of Mario games as a playable character. He's been in all the sports games, kart games, party games, and even has his own series of games called Luigi's Mansion, where you hunt down a bunch of ghosties and eventually save Mario. Plus, you get to get rich and you get to hump stuff. Mario! Oh yeah! There was even the famously celebrated Year of Luigi, where Luigi took over many of Mario's games, and even stole Mario's job as a doctor. D do you remember that was a thing? Cause I sure didn't. But is it ever truly enough? Probably. But nonetheless, today I go on the quest to find some Luigi fan games. And you gotta help us. Help us. Help, 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 help. First up is Alex's Luigi game. Yeah. Just let that sink in. We're setting the bar pretty high for this video. All right, how do I play this thing? Uh, okay, well, down does something. Let's see here. Okay. Wait, how do I make him go? What? 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 Oh, wait. Oh, my God, it's the mouse, isn't it? You have to spam down and go left to right with the mouse. This is the weirdest control scheme I've ever seen in my life. All right, let's go this way. Let's go, Luigi, let's go. Run, Luigi, run. Oh my god, I'm actually doing so good! Legendary God Gamer Luigi! Yeah, that's right! First real try! Amazing! I'ma rate this one 10 out of 10 because I can beat it. This one's called Guide Luigi! And if I was gonna make an educated guess, I'd say we gotta guide Luigi! What a sad state of affairs, really. I mean, even in a Luigi game, Mario's here taking the spotlight. What the heck? How am I supposed to do this? Oh, I see. This is one of those games. You gotta memorize every little perfect thing, and it doesn't even give you any time to breathe. This is the first part of the level! Th this is like one of those sadistic Mario Maker levels where you gotta guide something to the other side of the map. Oh my god, Mario Maker needs characters. This is what I'm figuring out right now. Just put that... Put that in the, me and my, put that in the game. Oh my god, the timing is so precise for most of this. Oh, it's like just a stress ball. Just constantly moving and throwing enemies in your way. Why? Why did it have to be so hard right away? Like, why, why couldn't we ease into this a little bit? Oh my god, this is the farthest I've gotten. Come on, Luigi, come on. We can get you there. Oh, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia is right. I'm done with this. This is a skip. Do you think you're a real gamer? Then it's time to play the best game ever made! Luigi floating on an egg over the sea. That's... that's real. Yeah, you see, if Luigi was floating on anything else, the game just wouldn't be as good. It really poses a philosophical question, what makes games good, you know? Is it the egg? Yes. 
That's why Eggmania for the Game Boy Advance is renowned for being one of the best games. I mean, we just gotta ask the deep questions, especially because there's, like, basically Vaporwave playing in the background while I'm floating around on a an egg. Luigi's Pipe Panic! You see, the creator, he was going for a more realistic approach to plumbing. What would it be like to be a real Italian plumber? Well, you're gonna be noticeably sweating a lot, and you're probably not gonna look like you like what you're doing. You're gonna have to, like, crawl through pipes and stuff. Nobody wants to do that. Ah! You. There's, like, literal skeletons of, like, a Yoshi in this plumbing. All you kind of do in this game is follow the arrows and avoid stuff so you don't die. And if you get to the end, you win. Cool. I mean, I love crawling through pipes. It's one of my favorite game mechanics. I mean, there's no way this game could get unrealistically hard and stupid, right? Uh-oh, the boo's catching up to- Uh-oh. Uh, -oh. uh and Luigi Punch! All right, from my first impressions, we're either gonna be doing one of two things. We're either gonna be punching Luigi right in his face, or... Wait, no, that's probably it. Oh, what? A boxing game? Well, didn't see that coming. Oh, oh man, we got like a punch out thing going on here. What? Yeah, that's right, I'm gonna punch you right in your dick, Wiggler. <laughs> yeah, you want some of that? Oh my God, this is actually kind of hard. Ah! Come on, Luigi, get up! You can't lose to a worm! Mm. Come on, come on, let's go! Mm. Uh, no! I'll never be able to face Mario again! You think you got me? Nobody. And I said nobody gets me. You're going down, Wiggler! I know all your moves! Uh, dick punch! Yeah! Oh, man. <laughs> Actually feel kind of bad. Well, what? He's up! Yeah, give him those mix-ups, Luigi. Make sure he doesn't know where you're coming from. Don't forget to dodge! Don't forget to dodge! <gasps> Is that it? Did I do it? Oh, yeah! <laughs> hey, is it just me or does Luigi look like he has a black eye? The next opponent you have to face is actually Boo and he's a little bit trickier. Hmm. Wait, no, I didn't lose, I didn't lose, I swear! No, you didn't see this, you didn't see this! If you actually manage to get past Boo, you fight Waluigi. Waluigi sucks. He throws kicks at you! I'm pretty sure that's not legal in boxing! Unless you're specifically Dragon Chan from Punch-Out! Okay, come on, Luigi, let's show him what we got! Give him the one-two! That's not the one-two. My god, he's so unpredictable! He throws out all these cheap shot hits! We're gonna die, aren't we? We're done! This is it! No! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Hey, screw you, okay? Super Luigi Country. Sure does look like Luigi's seen some stuff. All right, let's just press enter and get the show on the road. Gee, a princess, this shit is a. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait a second. There's cutscenes and voice acting. That's it. This is the best one. It gets the gold star. Gee, a princess, this shit is a uh, wonderful picnic. I'm glad you like a Luigi. Ah! Oh no! Princess! <laughs> I finally got you, Peach, and now I'm gonna eat ya. No! Not so bad, Bowser! What are you gonna do about it, you pesky plumber? Yeah! Well, I'm gonna stop you, that's what I'm gonna do! Good luck with that, nerd! <laughs> oh, oh, no! Cranky. What am I gonna do? You gotta get the power stars, Luigi! That'll stop him! But I'm nervous! Don't be! Okay! You're very strong! Okay! That was probably the best intro I've ever seen to a video game in my entire life! Well, this definitely took a turn! What is it with these games, man? They can't be high quality all the way through? It's impossible, isn't it? I mean, I'll never understand it. You put all this time into drawing all these characters and doing voiceovers. Yet, here we are. This is the game. All right, well, this is Super Luigi Country. Yeah. Is it everything you wanted it to be? And more? All you really do in this game is solve these single room puzzles. You just jump around, get to the end. Sometimes the puzzles are Mario. Sometimes the puzzles are like Hey, I'm Zelda. And then there's Bidoof. Is it Bidoof? I don't, I don't know Pokemon that well. So I guess the country in Super Luigi Country is just all the other Nintendo games. So the levels actually start out pretty easy, pretty basic stuff. But then suddenly, it gradually gets a bit harder. 
The best part is when you die, you get this really cool whip sound effect. It sure doesn't get old. Then we start getting to the troll stages, of course. You'll notice if you actually play this game that Dixie Kong makes an appearance every once in a while to try to trip you up. What? Oh my god. Well, I guess the joke's on me because I can barely see Luigi. Yeah, I can't see him. Okay, I'm holding out hope. I'm trying to beat this game because I think there's probably going to be another cutscene at the end. You guys want to see that, right? Well, just wait a second. I got this. I got this. Don't worry, guys. Okay, so the final boss is actually Dixie Kong, and you just have to avoid all of her patterns. Thank God, it's time for revenge! Uh-oh, I think I died. After you get past the first phase, then you have to run from her! Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, here we go! Just gotta hit this piece, which I think... Oh! Ah, Luigi, help me! No. Please? Okay! Ah! Luigi, you did it! Luigi, you did it! Yeah! I guess now we can get to that picnic, huh? Well, actually, I got some other stuff to do. Oh. I'm the best! You know, I don't know if it was worth it or not, but we certainly did it. Well, this one's called Luigi Takes a Walk. Oh, jeez, is this gonna be really dramatic or something? It was another bright and sunny morning in the Mushroom Kingdom with the hills and trees and clouds and everything. As cheery and wide-eyed as usual, Luigi was seated at the table. Well, this is great and all, and I'm sure it's really building up to something, but I'm here for the high-octane walking action. Where's my walking content? Literally, all you do in this game is you go to your mailbox and you figure out, oh no, I gotta pay taxes. So, Luigi decides to take a walk. Finally, this is exactly what I signed up for. You can talk to some of the toads and stuff, and they don't really have much to say. Actually, the whole walk is relatively short until you come up to the edge. Reaching what he had thought was the farthest end of the park, a seemingly endless pit greets. Luigi, as he slows his walk, peering into the pit, he wonders, is it really worth it? All this stress for what? Why should I have to deal with these silly taxes? Why not just end it all? Uh, Luigi, no, don't do that. Luigi, unsure of what he had left to live for, makes the greatest decision of his life. Will he head home and face the taxes or never deal with anything ever again? Wait, so the game gives you a choice if you're gonna kill Luigi or not? Dang, this is dark. What kind of game is this? Also, I'm gonna do it just because I have to see what happens. Luigi, realizing that he had no choice, jumped into the cliff, never to be seen again. Police were contacted to search for a body, but nothing was ever found. Mario, devastated by this news, went to pay his respects. After doing so, he turned Luigi's house into a fine museum. Now used to celebrate Luigi's triumphs. Rest in peace, Luigi. Okay, I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that was the bad ending. What happens when you get the good ending? Okay, Luigi, you gotta live. Luigi walked home and embraced the taxes, lacking in funds. He had to sell a few of his possessions, but luckily, he was able to keep his house. Luigi went on to live life day by day once more, but now hoping to get a real job with a decent pay. Godspeed, you magnificent Luigi. The end! Well, that sounds about right. There's actually a lot more Luigi fan games out there than you'd think. Most of them aren't really worth talking about, though, as they're incredibly simple, ridiculously barren, downright weird, or insanely hard. You got games like Baby Luigi's Adventure. Does this look fun to you? The games that end up being insanely hard are usually that way by choice. Like this one called Koopa Combat. It's kind of like a Boss Rush-style Luigi game. You fight against the Koopa kids and try not to die, but that's easier said than done. It's great if you can get some good momentum going, but one wrong move and you're just dead. What?! Then you have games like Luigi's Day, which are meant to be hard. You know, it's like one of those troll games where everything kills you no matter what. So you have to learn with pixel-perfect precision exactly what to do, or you're gonna die. And even then... Some of the good ones out there definitely worth checking out were Adventure de Luigi. It's like a Mario 3-inspired Luigi game complete with an overmap tying it all together. 
Luigi Land, which ended up being a bit difficult, but a decent amount of fun. It's a shmup where you control Luigi in a little fighter plane as he flies through Sarasaland. This game is going to kick your butt though, and I legit couldn't even get that far before I had to call it quits. It doesn't really give you a whole lot of time to get used to what's going on. The cool thing about it though is that you get little upgrades for Luigi's plane. But there's so many enemies and so many timing based mechanics even early on that it's just really hard unless you memorize everything. Surprisingly, one of the games that I ended up liking the most was Super Luigi Run. A game that's obviously based on Mario Run the app game. It was actually pretty fun trying to get all the hidden purple coins in all the levels. And then you have Luigi and the Quest for Nothing, both of them actually. Both of these games are pretty straightforward platformers for the most part. Except for at the end of this one, uh, Strong Bad shows up for some reason. But I'm telling you plebs right now that you haven't really experienced Luigi fan games until you play Luigi's Wet n Wild Adventure. The folder is literally called WET! I can't wait! Uh, wait, nothing's happening. Do I have to, like, press some buttons or something? Uh, that's actually the entire game, actually. <laughs> that's it. I hope she made lots of spaghetti! Hey! I just want to say thanks again to ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. If you use the internet a lot and you want some additional privacy, consider ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN protects your data and hides your location when you're browsing the internet, when you're buying things online, or even when you're traveling, logging into your personal accounts. Not only that, but it encrypts your data as well, making your privacy that much more secure. And on top of that, websites or internet service providers, it, it keeps them from getting your personal information when you browse. It's pretty simple actually, you just turn it on and select a location and you're in business. Personally, I like to use it when I'm traveling to like a convention or something like that because then I'm usually having to sign on to those public Wi-Fi's at like hotels or airports. It always seems super sketchy because you have to sign this like agreement and you're just like, no, just give me the internet. I know I'm not the only one with this problem, how dare you. If you sign up now with my special link expressvpn.com slash spacehamster, you'll get a super good deal if you sign up for the year-long package. It'll be less than $7 a month and you'll get three months for free. There's also a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you want to have some extra security while you're surfing the internet, then check out ExpressVPN. Use the link below. It helps me out a lot. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching that video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more fan game videos, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. Leave a comment down below what other kind of fan games you want me to cover. Who knows what I'll do in the future. Thank you so much, as always, to anyone sending art, anyone donating via Patreon and all that kind of stuff. And if you just can't wait for more videos, I got two more videos for you right there. How about some more fan game stuff? Okay, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye!